Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. So also please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Just found this one hiding in the backyard. That's another one of these quartzite boulders. It's not it's only a little one. Um, so I'm gonna spoil it up. Just gonna use my little ball peen. Um, so yeah, it's only that that size it's not too bad not not that heavy either so, but we'll just give it a, a bit of a tap see how we go and see the sparks that start uh, the the spores that start coming off beautiful sharp edges on that one but as you see you just start working on the edges and it starts breaking up now all that little stuff is pretty useless so that little stuff is not real good which I pretty well discard but the bigger stuff as you saw that's a good usable piece. I would keep that piece, I wouldn't break that up. Nice piece there. As you see, nice sharp edges. Beautiful. That's a nice piece that. Nice sharp edges. You do get a lot of this little rubbish, but you also get some nice usable pieces. And as you see, as you're spoiling, you start seeing where the fractures are coming from. So you just start working them. You just got to be real careful with that stuff flying off. Another piece, usable piece. That rubbish is pretty well not useful. Might be for smaller kits, be alright. That's all right. Some of those smaller pieces are all right. You've got to make sure you pick all these little pieces up because otherwise they get caught in the caught in the um in your um Mower as you're going around. Nice piece. It's a nice piece there, I like that. Nice sharp edges. So you can clean that up. Keep those little, a couple of little pieces. Get a nice piece like that. 
Now I normally would probably keep that piece, but drop that piece off. Still, see you're losing a lot of pieces by breaking it up further. And that'll just keep shattering into pieces. Probably. And you don't need a big hammer to do this, I've found out. I used to use a big um a big sledgy to get into it, but I found you don't need a, a big hammer to do it. You only need a little hammer. Like this is a, a 24 ounce one. So you don't need a really big hammer. do it. To spoil it up. See, it's a nice shard. Really nice shard, that one. Nice sharp edges. Certainly sparks, I'm getting good sparks off there, just from the hammer. This is why you should have glasses on, which I do. You get a lot of blowback. As you can see, I'm just chipping it away, chipping it away. You'll eventually. Get the pieces you want off. And I'll probably call that because getting a lot off that now. I'd probably have to go up to a bigger hammer to get it to spool up properly because it's it's not really breaking up. Yeah, 
all I'm doing is breaking bits off, little bits, unusable bits, getting some bits but not a lot of usable bits off, off that main bit. Maybe if I hit it with a bigger hammer, just give me a sec. I'm back with a bigger hammer. Let's see how we go with this. There we go. That's about as far as I'll go. Nice big usable piece there. That's a beauty. And that's another one. Might give it one more tap in the middle. It might break in half. There we go. There we are. That's about that, that rock spoiled up. That's how I usually do it anyway. I just thought I'd show you that other one spoiled up. I did have to go to a bigger hammer. But as, as you see, you get a little bit, of, little bit of unusable rubbish and then a lot of fair few bigger chunks that are good for home and then a, a lot of usable pieces that are, are good for just practice. But this stuff is um just it burns out really quick it's not as good as flint as i keep saying anyway i just want to show you another that wasn't a very big big boulder um it's just a another one i found in there but i've got so much of this stuff i thought i'd break that one up anyway because it was only some little anyway i just want to show you me spoiling up our, our rock from start to finish anyway thanks for watching